Welcome to the channel. This is the Gentleman's Pixel Club t-shirt and you can't buy this, but you know what? You should be glad that I can buy it because otherwise I would be sat here naked playing this game. And this game you don't want to be playing naked because it will draw the wrong impression, especially when it's called Panty Man. You know, when you think of Panty Man, you think, what kind of game could this be? And this shows where people's minds are. Is it a strange Japanese game where you do things with items maybe called panties in Japan or get them out of the vending machines, which you can do in Japan? Or is it something else? Well, it's actually something else, something very much else. This game was a recommendation from my friend Gary. This is the first game we have done on the Vic 20. Welcome, Vic 20, to the channel. And when I looked at the name of it, it was going to be like, holy hell, what is this going to be? Do we even want to be doing it on the channel? But it actually is something very, very different. So here we are loaded in. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider a subscription. It helps the channel grow. And to each and every one of you that have subscribed, it costs you nothing to do it, but it means the world to me. Thank you very much. Right, so what are we going to be doing on this game? Well, this is a game for Misfit, and regardless of the title of the game, you've got to explore this level that you can see here. It's in demo mode at the moment, um, and they've scored two points in demo mode. And you can see it's a brand new game. It hasn't been done anything because the high score is zero. And what he does is he runs around, and all those question marks is basically treasure or walls. If it's treasure, you get bullets, and your bullet is shown by the dash 13. That's actually a symbol of a bullet, and you've got three lives. And your object is, is to clear these screens and get as a high score that you can across three lives. It's as simple as that. Let's give it a go. I don't know how many goes we will do of this. It is blistering hot, and I am actually melting away. You know, I'm truly melting away. But we're going to give it our best shot. So fire to start. All right, so we've got a wall there and it moves, he moves, he, it reminds me a little bit of Load Runner, these, these little 8x8 uh, pixel sprites, that's quite cute, I think they're 8x8, oh there's an enemy there, alright we can shoot the enemy, but I'm going to choose to run away from, oh why is it moving, why is it moving like that, oh if you take too long it turns into a big ass enemy, oh, oh let's go through the exit, oh that was lucky there was an exit, holy hell, alright, so, so, uh, yeah, right, okay, this is a game where we're clearly not going to be dilly-dallying, and we might need to shoot some enemies that can free roam across the grass, but we don't seem to be able to, oh, I was going to run across the top there, we don't seem to be able to, so where are we, 9 points, 22 bullets, haha, -ha, yes, alright, 11 points, 18 bullets left, so, these games here, you know, we're, we're, I'm, try, I'm trying to basically play uh, with, with, with uh, commentary here at the moment, but it is quite hard, you know, it's because they're going to change it to something nasty and it's going to be a little bit stressful. Now, who knows whether this is random. We, we should try and remember what the level layout was on the first one for if we have enough go, but no, damn it, there's a wall there. All right, we're so, oh. oh, he got me, he got me. He didn't come down on me, but he got me at the top. All right, okay. So that, we know that these three are basically just nothings. Did we explore up here? Because we're looking for the exit. I think the strategy with this game is to be find the exit as quick as possible, clear the levels as quick as possible. Oh, balls, balls out, I got caught again. All right, well, what we do remember is level two that we're on has these cluster of five, uh, one, two, no, four question marks around your starting position, and it's game over. All right, so let's try and get uh, to level two and see whether this is actually random. I don't know, have any, if I don't know really of any games, I have no experience on the Vic 20. So, you know, how many of these their games we do? I don't know. I don't know if this is a typical Vic 20 game. You know, this is just new to me. But this came from itch.io and the URL. Oh, that's going to take the exit. Right. Yes. All right. So, the level, the layouts of the question marks um, seem to be exactly the same. So, that question, the next question is, is the layout of the exit exactly the same? All right. All right. What I'm going to do, I don't often do this, but I'm going to deliberately kill him. And we're going to do it two more times because we know the exit was at the bottom right of level two. I should have paid attention where the exit was on level one. So I'm just thinking in my mind, oh god, I saw my throat there. I'm thinking in my mind, you know, how can I get a really good 
high score at, and that would be if you learn the levels. Now, Omar, the only question is, is underneath all of these, all of these are, should you come on, come up, underneath all these question marks, were they random? All right, I think the exit is on the bottom right. Good, all right, so all we need to do is learn the levels. Ha, probably a lot harder said than done. But now we're not gonna be doing that anymore. We're actually just gonna be playing to win. So every flashing circle is a little treasure that you could pick up along with bullets. Oh, there was a lot of bullets there, wasn't there? Oh, he's a speedy one again. He's morphed, he's changed. You can see this game is gonna get quite stressful actually. I nearly shot him. All right, we know we're going over here. We know we're going over here for the exit. Yes. All right, I nearly shot him, but you can't turn in time. You move a lot quicker when you're not digging. Oh, dear God. Okay, 19 points. You move a lot digger when you're not digging. All right, our high score is... Ah, oh, we still had a life left. Bollocks. All right, our high score is 30 there. So let's give it our best shot. Dig, dig, dig. This feels like, um, and I, I, I hope I'm not being disrespectful here as well, it also reminds me of an old Sinclair Spectrum type-in type game where you would type in, you know, everything that, that you had and hope you were going to have a, a reasonably good game by the end of it. Right, okay, let's get that. All right, okay, level clear, level clear, and we did everything. So my first memory of a typing game, and you know, I've told you many times that, you know, my, my parents, my mother and my stepfather, you know, didn't like me to have um, things like this, but we, we, we got, we got, eventually got a Sinclair. Oh, I tried to go down and shoot. We eventually got a Sinclair Spectrum. But you know what, we know where that exit is, so we're just gonna do a path to the exit. So we've got one. Yeah, we eventually got a Sinclair Spectrum. I think I've told this story before. And my dear mother, God bless her soul, may, may she rest in peace, spent, a, and I've just realized the, the enemies do two different things. The enemies do two different things. One of them um, moves across land that you're not on, and the other will only move through tunnels that you create. Yeah, anyway, God, God, God bless her. She spent a whole afternoon typing a ZX Spectrum program for me. Um, you know, we, we, we didn't know about saves. We didn't know about UDGs or, or oh, damn it, or anything like that. Oh, game over. All right, so we still didn't get a high school. Yeah, we didn't know about saves. User-defined graphics and bits and pieces like that. And the user-defined graphic on the Sinclair Spectrum was where you had to push a combination of buttons to change it to the graphic character mode so you could actually uh, use graphics. Um, and that was putting in like A, B, C, D, D etc. For, for the character that you wanted. And what that would do, it would represent itself in the graphic that had been defined in the UDG. Uh, quite simple, really, when you think about it. Anyway, um, this magazine article uh, got typed in. And by the time it was finished, it was fired up. And I was so disappointed. You know, in, 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 in the pictures, if you could barely use those words, in, in, in the pictures in the magazine. Um, oh, God, you're on the tunnels, aren't you? Okay. Going here. There, escaped. Yeah, in the pictures. It, these walls are different, actually. The exit, it looks like, could be the same. But one of those walls was a bullet thing, I'm sure, from earlier. All right, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. All right, so the, um, yeah, the, the, the magazine was typed in, and it looked so, so bad, and, you know, we didn't know how to save either, so, you know, it was a very desperate, sorry, uh, state of affairs. Um, and I had these magazines that were brought with for me um, when I got this for Christmas, so to speak. She never wanted to type anything in again after, you know, spending ages. And if you remember on the Sinclair Spectrum, it didn't allow you to type using real words. Um, oh, you see, I tried to push up and shoot. It didn't allow you uh, to type real words. You had to basically just do, you know, shift L, shift whatever it may be um, for whatever. Yeah, so she wasn't happy about the challenges. Oh, you could, you could shoot the ground as well. Look at that. She wasn't happy about the challenges 
um, that that brought and I had all these magazines that you can never type anything in again but yeah that, that was the early adventures on the Sinclair Spectrum well that was a very long way to tell you that this reminds me very much like that you know with the the square jumping movement that you have as you move square to square it doesn't make it a bad game at all no 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 actually i quite like this um you know it's simple it's short in terms of you know you, you don't have to remember 200 keys to be able to do it and you know that it actually has playability you know it, it, it's not as random as it may look um because the x's seem to always be in the same place the bricks can be a little bit random where they are Oh, there we are. We'll take that exit. The bricks can be a little bit random, but this is certainly... It, it, actually, you know what else it reminds me of? A little party-type game where your objective is to get as high score as... Oh, I thought I could do that. You get high score as you can um, in, you know, one game. So we've got 49. We've got 49. And look at that guy on the left there. He's wearing his panties as well. So he is panty man. If I could change the name of this game, I would call it Tighty Whitey Man. I really, really would. But no, let's have a couple more goes. In fact, we're, we're going to play until we beat... Until we can beat that score of 49. Alright, in a minute that's going to change into a... A nasty one. Oh, there it is, there it is. And remember, the nasty ones are different from the first version of it because they um, can only go through passages and not uh, across the top of the grass. But no, we've done that, we've done that, and we've scored 10 points. You know, the exit is here. We'll go up here. These may be walls, they may be treasure and bullets. Damn it! I was trying to shoot him. I, I absolutely was. So our goal here is literally 50 points. Come to me. I think I prefer the ones actually on the path. Because, uh, yeah, I, I definitely prefer the ones on the path. Even though I shot that one. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, 19 more points to go. Oh, you moved away. Sugar. I thought I had it then. I thought I could magically get rid of it um, and shoot it. All right, how are we doing? 36 points, one life left. Oh no! 38 points. Right, okay, go again. We have to go again. We have got to beat that score. I wonder whether it adds anything else as the game goes on in terms of new things that upset you. Haha, <laughs> yes, got you as you change it, you bugger. Alright, 15 points. There we go, nice. I was trying to move down on right. Oh, it got me again. 
curse you know what this level is bad news this level is bad news so we're just gonna to go to a harder level yes let's just go to a harder level um, to try not to have so much bad news but look more question marks so more chances he says as there's none there the prizes and prizes are points There we go, we did it, we got out of it, we somehow got out of that. I'm trying, trying, all I want to do is beat that 50 points. Yes, I've done it. You can kind of figure out loosely where things are. By the way the enemy by the way the enemies move because they seem to be trapped on those question marks if some of those are walls. I thought the bottom left one was gonna be the exit. Oh and he got me and he got me. Alright, so fifty seven points on Panty Man. God my hands are dripping sweat and it's just from holding that controller there. So I hope you had fun with this video. This has actually been a nice little game, the first foray into VIC-20 on the Mr. FPJ. I must now go and take my clothes off because it is ridiculously hot. All of you stay safe, take care, and stay naked, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Would you like to play again?